We really went down a hole there. Okay, so uh, I have a convex quadrilateral ABCD, and then there's an in center. Omega is tangent to. Oh no, how am I supposed to draw that on Joji, bro? What? Uh, how am I supposed to draw that? <laughs> yeah, the point E was really. It really. <laughs> yeah, prioritizing approaches is actually like. Sort of the hard. Okay, I don't. What? How am I supposed to draw this? <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna wing it. Oops. Because, like, the in circle of CPD is tangent to the other two in circles. So, like. Yeah, I'm just gonna fiddle with it. I mean, I'm short on time, so we're just gonna try the best we can. <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably should have started with PCD. Um. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. Okay, you're right. You're right. I'm I'm silly. For some reason, I thought the circles would be tangent at a random point, but it's tangent at the tangency point. Of okay, so let's start over. Uh. Okay, so here's D, and then there's C, and then P is some point. Uh. Okay, and then W equals circle P C D no in circle P C D. Construction oh my lord. Um okay, cool. I'm gonna just mark the in center right away. Okay, and then I need to name these tangency points. I I don't know what I'm supposed to name them. A P D Oh, actually, they gave us names. Okay, so K is the foot from I, uh, I'm P, D. Okay, L is reflect of K, line. And then we'll call it T. So T is the last tangency point. Okay, and then I have some circle here. Um, so we'll call it G1 is a circle. <sighs> okay, fine. Okay, and then O2 is a point on. Do I know what a muck? What? No, I don't. Oh, so this problem has a lot of degrees of freedom. Okay, so... G2 equals circle Who came up with the current Woot POTD? I'm not actually in the Woot class for one, so I don't know what it is. Um, Okay, and then uh, there's, we can draw line AD now because line AD will be the reflection of line CD across line uh, D01. Not CD, PD. Uh, and then, oh, oh shoot, okay, uh, this might be a little tricky. Um, Shoot. <laughs> okay, so a, a is going to be the intersection of AD and reflect.
Wait, why did I not? Where is A? No. Find. I keep typing CD when I mean PD. Okay, there's A. Okay, so I, I, I messed up because now A is not determined. Or, like, so line AB is somewhere along there. But I need to, like, I need to get the point such that, okay, actually I can construct this. So the way you get O2 is that O2 should be um, the intersection of the line IL and the angle bisector of, right. So we'll draw the angle bisector of, um, oh shoot, APC, oh no. That's the wrong angle. Okay, that's the angle bisector. And we'll intersect it with the line OI. And that's O2. Okay, so you can draw, oh, what? Why is it called B? Uh, delete, rename. Okay, and that's the G2 equals circle O2 L. Okay, and then A is the intersection, B is the intersection of line A, B. And so I'm not using the tangent tool because it draws two lines and I want one. So I keep using reflect. Okay, so there's B. And then at that point, I can actually hide these two. Um, and we can do APD equals polygon APD and CBP equals polygon CBP. Great, I have a diagram, amazing. So actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the points upside down. I think CPD is the right reference. So I'm gonna put CPD and then just make A and B do whatever they want. But is A fixed? Um, no, so there, there's a bit of freedom here, which definitely uh, could be moving points. <laughs> uh, that, that is a possibility. Okay, cool. Anyways, A, K, and B will meet at F. And, okay, so we'll draw the... F equals intersect line A, K. Okay, so that's a picture. Um, okay, and I have apparently 20 minutes to solve this because I spent too long in the graph theory. Uh, big rip. Oh, that's awful. Um, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing. Let's keep the grid, why not? Okay, cool. Um, all right, that's a diagram. It's really hard to get these to not just coincide. Okay, so what do I do? Can you tell people about new blog posts in your Otis emails? Um, just subscribe to the blog. I think it's easier. I don't want. I'm worried that I'm spamming people too much. Honestly.
Let's DDIT, yeah. You guys are gonna have to help me, help me out with this one because I'm not gonna get in in 20 minutes myself. Like, I'm not that fast. Saying to do meme ideas? I don't know, whatever solves the problem, man. So there's this, yeah, Monge is good. I also want to draw, there's a circle that's orthogonal to all three of these circles. I don't know if that's a circle helps at all, but it's, it's very orthogonal. Like if you invert around it, something might happen. I'm not sure. So like, uh, I is actually the pole. of k to l right yeah so there's, there's like a bunch of orthogonal circles here um i is the pole of k to l i don't know what e is uh, i don't really know what b is either hmm. Wait, this circle is so strong. Um, okay, does that do anything? If I mark those two points? Oh, I have the circle with diameter... I have a circle with diameter UV. <laughs> I is the pole. What is F? <sighs> I get quoted on everything, huh? Yeah, I don't know. That, that circle just looks really good, I think. It's like three. But I don't know what the relation to... Um, like, what happens if I invert A with respect to this circle? Uh, or D, or any, actually any of the points for that matter. Um, Like, I almost want to use this blue circle as the reference. It's like I have a cyclic quad U, L, K, V that inscribes somewhere diameter U, V. Um, that determines the circles. Does that determine the lines? Not really. Um, well, <laughs> it's like if, if I determine, if I have one point, it determines the other. So it's like bong, bong, bong. Um, which really makes this a good moving points candidate, honestly. Because the other... Yeah, it's, it's like I fix a circle and then as I vary B along this line, it goes, you get C by intersecting and then D by intersecting and A by intersecting. And then... I don't know. F is some degree... F is something degree, A is something degree? I don't know. Why does B move on a line? Uh, B, so, like, by definition, B moves on line UV, right? Like, if I fix U, L, K, V, then B, by definition, is supposed to be on line UV. 
So I almost want to redraw the diagram and then see how I animate it, but I think that's too much work. Uh, but it'll be... Like, moving points will work, so it should kind of work. Because I think the map from B to C to D... To, like, B, C, D, A are all projective. Like, they all vary projectively. C is moving too. Um, sure. But, like, the, the, the claim is that B to C should be projective. Why is... It, do I have a... Yeah. <laughs> It sort of has to be. Well, do I have a reason why, though? Do you fix... Yeah, you fix all three circles and the blue circle. So all th the blue stuff and the circles are all fixed, and the only thing that's moving is B, C, D, and A. Honestly, Complex Bash is... Ah. Uh... Hmm. I don't know. Okay, okay. Well, someone was saying something about... I, I should at some point use Monge. Like, there is a Monge in here. Um, which is that... Um, there's an Eximilis center, which I'll call S, which is the intersection of line KL and line 0102. And we should we should actually mark that point at some point and see what happens. So, S is... Oh, jeez. Geo. Ugh. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Um, okay, I'm gonna just hide that. Okay, so KL. What's the polar of F with respect to the circle? Uh, not that one. What did I call the blue circle? G. Oh, I can't see that. What is the polar of E? What? Why is the polar of E parallel? No, it's not parallel. It looks parallel. <laughs> Two thousand seventy eight. Okay, guys, you got to help me out. I'm not going to solve this <laughs> in 13 minutes by myself. Uh, he is... Just these moving points. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's the issue. Like, it's, I, I agree it should be a degree I'm 06, but I don't know what six points I would check. Like, I feel like six is too high. I don't know if it would actually be easier if with only six, if this degree is that large. Does the Gurgaon point lie on their line? The Gurgaon coin of PDC. What is this line? 
Do I draw a line IG? Ah, <laughs> that was silly. No, okay, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, I can't tell. Yeah, six, I think six is too high. I think six is above what we can reasonably do. Like, um, the diagram just makes it look like BF is tangent when it isn't. That's very unfortunate. BF is not a tangent <laughs> every Oh my gosh. Is it worth it if I just redraw the diagram with the blue circle as my basis? Or will that take too much time? I'm gonna try it. Uh, I don't. Whatever. PBCD has an in circle. Um, oh, good point. Okay, uh, let me let me try to use that actually. Um, oh, I should know this. Right, right, right. That that's that. It's that lemma from. Mm, okay, so. How would I construct it? It's like uh, BO2 and DI meet at a point I1, which is B intersect Can I play a group FTW game? <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Perpendicular line. Ah, oh, man, I can't draw. Wait, did I use C1 already or something? Circ1 is circle. Uh, I1 intersect perpendicular. 
perpendicular line I1 to line CD with line CD. Okay, took long enough. And then I2 is the other one, right? So I2 intersect line CI line oh, A01. And then that has an in circle. So circle um, Okay, great. Now I have a gazillion in circles. Oh. CDBA intersect at one of the one of the ex-similar centers of O1 and O2. Wait, CD and BA? Oh wait, yeah, what the heck? Why did I not get that earlier? So K KL O1 O2 BA are concurrent. Is P the circumcenter of the four closest tangency points? Yes, because PU equals PL equals PK equals PV. Um, oh, it's not censored anymore. Uh, okay, so interest. I forgot BA was a tangent. I, I'm not paying attention. Um, Okay, so there's a point S that lies on like four of these lines. And it's probably off the page again. Uh, yeah, I, tur I turned down the filter to be a little more accommodating. Okay, so line SA. Yeah, S, S lies on like everything. So line SK. Line SI1. And line SO1. Okay, so these four lines all pass through a gazillion things. It's showing up fine. I think it's not censored. Uh, okay, what do I do with that? What does that have to do with I? So by Monge's theorem, something with I? No, that doesn't do anything. Just, I, I is the center. CD doesn't pass through, but KL does. Yeah, KL does. So S is sort of like the Spro card. Okay. Anyways, what does all this have to do with E? Um. Well, if I. I don't know. <laughs> what, does that, what does that have to do with ERF? At least for F, I can kind of... Um... Okay, let me take BK and seal. Ah, of course it looks. Oh, I'm, I'm typo. Ah. Mm. 
yeah, it does. It does look have this DDIT feel to it because um, he is like. It's like E and F are both sort of like the intersections I don't really want. Like C D intersect K L would be better, and then L K intersect B C is the X and L S center. Oh, but I don't know what any of that has to do with I. Uh, DDIT is the dual of Desargues involution theorem. Maybe I should try a bit harder to actually solve this. I don't know. It just doesn't look. I don't think I'm close. Ah, it's all because of that graph. I spent so much time going the wrong way. We can do B K C L S E from I. Okay. Um. From I. B K. Oh yes. Okay. I see. Uh. No. Wait. From I, I'm looking at BKCL. Wait. Do you mean like ABKL or something? Like BCKL is not symmetric. Um... Okay, so you want A B K L? But I lies on like I lies on B L and A K. No it doesn't. Sorry, that's F. Ah <laughs> I got bird. Oh no. Ah. Uh no it doesn't. Sorry, it's F. Uh yeah, you're 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 right. You're you're just fine. You're fine. Yeah, that's actually good. So what you say um, right, let me move the. So by DDIT from I, we have IBK, ICL, ISE are involution. Uh, not E, F. So then I want to get something with E. I guess the obvious choice is like... I want something with S though. You can do B02, A01. A01. B02 cap A01. Is that point good? That gives the intersection collinear with IE. Could you guys see my message? Oh, uh, sorry, I'm not watching the... Considering the maximum of coordinates of SF... Involution and dilation of the coordinates? All right, let, let me... So B O two A O one is like the center of some uh, whatever. Yeah, so the intersection of the two angle bisectors. So like the in center of wait. Nah, that was close.
Okay, so if I let G, I'll actually call it O. Um, if I let the two angle bisectors of B and A meet at O, then D, D, I, T again on B, O, 2. So that's actually really good because that does give us another point to work with. It's B, O, 2. I write it as BO2 cap CO1, but really it's the intersection of the um, bisectors of some other stuff. So I might not. I'm gonna hide this as I1 and I2. I don't. Do I still want I1 and I2? I don't. I can't tell. The angle bisectors. Angel, did I typo? Yeah. Yeah, so the angle bisectors meet at this point O, which looks like it's also lying on the line. So the main mysterious part is this E. Um, that's the point we don't have a good handle of. But it looks like, like O is the in center of whatever triangle is formed by A, B, and like thing. And I is something. Uh, what, do, what do I do with E? Can I like look from at the other vertex? Uh, I guess I could. Do I want to add the other vertex? Uh, this is going to be so far down. Um, okay, fine, I'll add it. And then I'll have to zoom a lot. Okay, so GCD is Okay, so O is like the in center of that. Which looks like it's tangent at P, but isn't, unfortunately. Oh, that's just a diagram. So I want O, I, and. Oh, that so O and I is some is something. Um, there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So do shoot. So the green, green, and the big black, um, means that there is a homothety. So there's there's a center of some homothety from the black and the green, and it's collinear with, uh, some things. What what are they? What's the monge? So B. Main point. Wait, what? Uh, oh, I. I want a negative homothet. Okay, is E the center of the no? No. O I and B. B O two and A O one, which I haven't drawn. Okay, I'm just gonna hide circle one and circle two. Wait, I'm confused. Um, I think I1 and I2 are not the ones I want. I want the green ones because I know they're homothety centers. I might introduce the red ones again, but for now I'm going to go. So, oh, uh, we just reproved IFO collinear. So I think F is actually the center of the negative homothety taking the in circle of PCD to a large black circle. Just give SAB collinear. Um, two green and black. Yeah. Well, I was like, if you use yeah this green, this green, that black, you get the point S that's way off the picture. And if you do this green, this green, this black, um, it tells you that uh, F is the center of the negative homothety sending I to O. That's what it says. Yeah, so unfortunately, I, I, I got really hopeful, but we just reproved IFO collinear, although now we know F has a bit more context. F is actually the F is actually the center of the negative homothety. And then O is, you know, the... So the claim is by Monge de Allenberg. F is actually 
negative homophily center between I and O. So I agree. We want to get... Is F a bad point? Is E a better point? I mean, I guess... I don't know. It's just, I don't know what to do with this point E. It's just so bad. Um, like, I, I want to do CD intersect AV, but the, the issue is that doesn't... Could E be the other similar center? Oh, really? Maybe. That, that's a stretch, but I won't discount the possibility. Um, IOEF looks harmonic. It sure does. Let, let's find out. Polar of E with respect to the circle through the midpoint of I, O, and I. Well, what do you know? <laughs> yeah, good job. E, e is actually the other similar center. BF is not a tangent. Okay, yes, you are correct. E is actually the other, what? What? Okay, so I want a positive homotopy between them now. E is defined to be on BD. So D should be the center of some other homotopy of some sort. Um, so B, B takes is the positive one here. E is the positive one there. Which one haven't I used? Um, D is the, really? No, I don't believe that. No, but it it's with the green. Oh, okay, Let, let's bring the red ones back. Fine. Um, green to orange. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, the orange ones. So the, the, the red circle, this to here, has, in, has center at D. Then this to green to black, and then orange to black. Yep, yep, we did it, we did it. E is the, <laughs> oh no. Um, 10, 12, okay, not, not bad. Uh, introduce in circle of B, C, D, P. Yeah, we, we actually made, basically made it on time. Re re redeemed the stream. Because <laughs> I was like, man, today was a disaster. We did the silly A2, and then we spent the rest of the time like running in circles on the thing. But then we saw the GA in half an hour, so we're good. <laughs> we got something done. All right, thanks, guys. Yes, the, the other red circle was the one that I was missing. Um... Incidentally, though, I was trying to use green, green, black again with all positive homotopies. What did I do wrong there? Green, black, black, green. I see, it's just a random point. But yeah, the, the, orange, the red one is what I want. Oh, oh man. Success. Wow, okay. DDIT is a way of life. Yeah, but we didn't even need the DDIT in the end because we, we constructed the... Uh, like, the, the Monge reproved IFO collinear. So the point S actually didn't... We didn't need it. It was just mass Monge. Because what you do is you let O be the in-center of GCD. And then... Ah... Uh, no, O is the key, and then you do munch, double munch. F is the, yeah. Oh, good eye, though. I, I didn't think E would actually be the X millicenter, but it was strong. So I the blue circle ended up being not needed. I, could, I got excited about that, but... Doesn't seem like I needed it. And then the blue polygon, I didn't need. I didn't need O2 or O1 either, right? No, I I mean, I guess I sort of needed it to define the angle bisector, but not really. Okay, all right, we did it.